Breaking news. Jamaica's superwoman, Sharika Jackson, heads to Meeting de Paris indoors. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel for this breaking news out of Peter Lloyd World. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Uh, go ahead, please hit that subscribe button. When you do that, go in and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video about once a day, every day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your comments. Let me know your thoughts on Sharika Jackson's uh, announcement that she's heading to the Meeting de Paris. You ready? Yep. Good to go. Sharika Jackson has started out her 2022 season in fine style in what I think may be her first series of 60 meter dash, well, the, the first one that I am aware of. She started internationally at the Tyson Invitational. Here she is in the preliminaries of her first international race for 2022, over 60 meters. Jackson ran 7.28 to take second in the semi-finals with Jamaica's Natasha Morrison running a time of 7.36 to run in third position. Jackson came back to run second in the finals of the Tyson's Invitational ahead of compatriot Natasha Morrison and Taylor Anderson. She came second behind the winner Mary Beth Saint. Mary Beth Saint won in a time of 7.04. Sharika Jackson ran 7.12. Her time of 7.12 placed her uh, tied for 10th place in the fastest women over 60 meter according to World Athletics for the 2022 season thus far. Here she is in the finals. Sharika Jackson's next international stop over the 60 meters was at the Humana HBCU, where in this instance, she won her first uh, inter international 60 meter title that we are, we are aware of. And this was her first win for the 2022 season internationally. Here she is at the eight Humana HBCU Invitational Finals. Now, as exciting as it was to see her finally win a 60 meter dash, I have to state the obvious, which is that her start was still a terrible start. 
it, it was not one of her better starts. Again, she was running from behind. Um, we have to admit that Cherica Jackson sort of runs like Elaine Thompson here, as you're seeing right now. She sort of picks up uh, after about 40 meters. But it's great to know that she's working on that start because if she gets it right, she will be a force to be reckoned with. Sharika Jackson wins in a time of 7.32 with Jamaicans Natasha Morrison taking second in 7.42 and Kashika Cameron of Jamaica running 7.46 to take third position. Now let's get to this exciting breaking news out of Peter Lloyd World. Sharika Jackson on her Facebook feed announced that she will be competing this Sunday. That's Sunday, March the 6th at the meeting de paris it's an indoor event here is what she wrote on sunday march 6th i will be competing at the world athletics indoor tour meet in paris france remember that it takes time to reach maturity be patient she's actually right people because some of you have been a little impatient with this phenomenal talent um so there you have it, uh, Peter Lloyd exclusive. Sharika Jackson on her Facebook feed announces that she will be attending and running in the uh, World Athletics uh, Meeting de Paris uh, indoor event. I suspect she'll be running the 60 meter dash again. She could surprise us and run the 200 meters, I'm not sure. But you here you have it, exclusively out of Peter Lloyd World. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow here at Peter Lloyd World. Remember, the goal now is 20,000 subscriptions. We're going to get there with your assistance. So please, guys, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you enjoy the content, hit the like button. When you hit the subscription button, go in and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video about once a day every day here at Peter Lloyd World. Also, leave your comments. Let me know your thoughts on Sherika Jackson's 2022 campaign thus far. She may be the only Jamaican sprinter at her level that I think is currently still running in the indoor circuit. Do you think she's going to consider going to the world indoor? I doubt that. I, I don't know. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts. Your kings and queens, your greatness personified, believe in yourselves and bless up. I just realized I wasn't clear. I meant to ask you, do you think she's going to compete in the world indoor championships coming up uh i think later this month is it this month or per perhaps early next next month do you think so anyway bless up